Was it not magnificent to linger in worship there? One of the things that I feel is coming, this is gonna, we, 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 it's not that we stray away from it, but there's different seasons where God is, is working something in us. And, and one of the ways that you can live as a, um, a believer who knows how to hear the voice of God when you're on the run, it's one thing to, strate- to strategize. It's like God will occasionally tell you about something that he wants you to do and then he gets you to strategize for it to see it accomplished. But then there's also the day-to-day living, just listening and being in connection with him so that when he tells you to lean, you lean. When he tells you to stop, you stop. And, and, it's, and it's what that sort of connection with the Lord is actually forged in worship. It's not something that we perspire towards in the sense that, you know, I just need to hear, I just need to hear. But it's more so just a simple lifestyle of communion, of connection with him where we're cognizant that we're, that we're praising. Your, your spirit person, is it okay if I preach before I preach? Your spirit person can multitask. So your spirit person, you know, your three parts, spirit, soul, body. Your, your, your soul, the seat of where you think, feel, and choose. Your, your body, of course, you know, the, the specimen uh, on display before you. And, and then um, uh, your spirit, that which has come alive in Christ, that was asleep, but's now alive because of, of, of your relationship and, and connection to the Lordship of Jesus. Your spirit isn't limited to uh, uh, the, the limitations of your feelings or of your thoughts or your intellect or of your choices. Your spirit has the capacity to be doing several things at once. And so in this moment, right now, in my spirit, I am, I am listening to the spirit, to what to say to you. I'm in communion with the spirit in the sense of I'm worshiping him. Or I'm just in a place where I'm still singing, you are worthy of it all. And I'm trying to pay attention carefully what I see him doing as he's brooding over us in these moments. Your spirit is capable, is able. It's an untapped resource often based upon our limited understanding of the expression of worship. When we limit our worship to just these moments when we gather together, we lose actually the, the, the or we miss, sorry, the, 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 the training, the developing, the, the growing of our spirits, our, our spirit man's strength in communion with God. And when you're living in communion, you'll experience intimacy. You'll experience the guiding of the spirit. You'll experience the fruit of the spirit growing in your life. And we're gonna move into this as we go forward. But it's interesting in John chapter four, when the woman at the well says, you know, um, well, she, she, when, when she's confronted with meeting Jesus, immediately she goes to a question about worship, a question about religion. Well, you Jews, you know, we, we say to worship over here. You Jews say to worship over here. And Jesus says, you know what? The day is coming when that's not going to matter. But the true worshipers, catch this, catch this, whom the Father seeks. I, the mic I'm wearing, I can't drop it. The, the Father isn't seeking givers, but worshipers give. The Father isn't seeking evangelists, but worshipers evangelize. The Father isn't seeking pastors, but, but worshipers pastor. The Father isn't seeking the gifted, but worshipers walk in the fullness of their gifts. The Father is seeking worshipers. It's one thing to seek after God. But if you choose to turn your heart towards worship, you will discover him seeking after you. And my heart burns um, within me because there's a return, you see, in these crazy times when every media message, every you know, anti-social media, all of the different things are all going on in these absolutely crazy times. The temptation is to attack on temporal terms what we see as spiritual problems. And God is saying, if my people will just lean back and start to worship and be people of the presence, they will see me break through in such power because they're worshipers. And that which is temporal will not touch those who are connected in that which is spiritual.